Okay, I'm going to try to explain how you start your cells out on your glass, start gluing them down and solder them together. First of all, the first thing you need to keep in mind is that this is the negative side of the cell. And I have a tabbing wire that I soldered to it and I showed you in another video. Okay, it's, you just go through all your cells and tab them all. So there's a stack of tab cells ready to go. So, first thing I do, I've already figured out what size glass I had and what size cells that I thought were going to fit the glass, approximately. And of course I left extra room. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have plenty of room on this. So what I do is I just lay my cells down and I figured out that there's, there's going to be three rows of 12 on here. And I've already made one of these panels. and. Uh, I know that uh, you could start out about this far down. In fact, I'll just show you the panel. I ended up with a lot of extra room. It, I started out about that far last time and ended up with a whole lot of extra space down here. I don't know if you could see it. And But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set these cells on here and space them equally apart. And then I'm going to take my T-square, that's what you use for sheet rocking, and I'm going to set it down there on that end and square it up at the edge, like this, square it up at this end, and I'm going to make it about the distance that my my cell is going to be my um, tab, I'm going to have to set this camera down, this is nuts alright, this tab and wire is in the way of my camera, or my uh, T-square alright, well, I know it's it's going to look about space like this so I'm lining up my T-square here I'm going to make me a straight line I follow when I put my cells on here. And I've got a lot of extra room on this panel, so I'm not real, real worried about how much room I got or if it's equally, perfectly equally spaced. So here we go. So I'm gonna make my line. So I got something to follow. Okay, now I finally got that done. I'm going to tell you how to start your first cell on here. I got this cell on here and I got it laying face down and see my tabbing wire right here it's it's soldered to the front and it comes out right here and this is going to be my negative lead coming from my cells and I can straighten that back out now Let's see. First, it wants to slide all over. It wants to slide all over the glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I kind of got it where I want it, so I'm going to put some sockets on it. And I'm putting one on every corner. Now it's held down firmly to the glass. And I use this stuff called RTV 118. And I'm going to set the camera down for a second and put some glue on it and I'm going to put it on all four corners and I'm going to use as little as possible I don't make a big mess
it doesn't really take that much. Okay, now I got it all glued down. Now I take my next cell. to it. Looks like that. Now, scoot it up there. And I like about eighth of an inch in between my cells and just kind of eyeball. Now that's not exactly on my line over here. I can scoot it over unit right on my line. And get that one kind of right on the line. Like that. And see, my tabbing wire is lined up with those white dots. Okay, now I'm going to put some more sockets on here. And I'm going to set my camera down again. I'm going to put some little spots of glue on it. In the corners again is where I like to put it. I guess it doesn't have to be in the corner. Close to the corner is probably good. Try not to get it on your socket or your socket will be glued to your... Cell and that's not good. When you try to take your socket off later, it'll break the cell. All right. Now, this is what this looks like now. We got our negative lead coming out from the front side. Electricity goes through the cell. It comes out on the back side, and then we have this negative lead from the other cell that we laid down beside it and so I need to solder that on there and the first thing I'll do is put some flux on it and uh, I'll show you what that looks like probably have to move these sockets out of the way I don't know if you're going to be able to see it put some flux on these dots, little white dots on here. Maybe the camera would look better at this angle. clean your solder and gun off with a wet paper towel and get all that slag stuff off there impurities I put a lot of solder on here and then I solder my first dot down and it doesn't want to stay so what I'll do is I'll just put a socket on here Well, I'll just use my finger. It gets kind of hot sometimes. It moved on me. Alright, I got that first dot. First dot soldered. Now, put some more solder on my solder iron.
Okay. Eureka. Success. Alright, now that's what you do. You just keep taking cells out of your pile. Laying them on their face. And setting them up next. See, here's your negative wire here. And you get it in position there and line it up with your line and everything. And you put sockets on it to hold it in place. And you can just move it around how you need it. And don't forget to put flux on there, it won't stick. I'm going to set this down. I'll get it straightened back up again. And I'll break your cell. There, now it's perfect. You don't want to move it with too much weight on it. These sockets might be kind of in the way I move them over like that. And then. Clean your soldering iron off a little bit every time. It gets real shiny after you do that. Put lots of solder on it like that and then get her stuck down. It gets crooked on you, you can just move it. Straighten it up. Like that. And you just continue to do that until you get all the way down the other end. When I get down to the other end, I'm, I'm going to make another video. I probably should add some help doing this. I hope you could see what, what you do. Thanks for watching.